Hey everybody, Sam Slishman here. I want to talk with you about the Slishman Pressure App and why you need it. Also show you how to use it, talk about who the intended users are, and go into why I call it a wrap instead of a tourniquet. Everybody seems to ask me that question, so I feel like I need to address it. All right, here it is coming out of the case. The case is big enough to hold band-aids or ibuprofen or other items if you like. Uh, there is a orange version and a black version, and it's very light. It's less than 1.2 ounces. All right, so before going into uh, how to use it, I just want to talk about the intended users a little bit. So this is aimed at the general public, untrained civilians, people who have may, may, maybe never run into bad bleeding before. I'd like to see this in first aid kits and backpacks, sitting next to AEDs in public areas. And I want people to be applying it directly over wounds. So I don't want people to have to think, is this arterial geyser or venous trickle or capillary ooze? They say bleeding and put it over the wound. So how to apply it? There's a lasso at the end. I'll put it on my arm just because the arm is right here and it's easy to demonstrate, but it works on a forehead or legs or other areas that are bleeding. And the crux of it really is this red sleeve. So I pull, it cinches down. There's no skin pinch, uh, and I can make a wide wrap, a narrow one, tight one, a loose one. While I'm wrapping it, there are these Velcro tabs sewn along the way, and that stops it from unrolling quickly while I'm applying it. And they also help to hold it in place. At the end here is a place to put the time, and there it is. All right, so a few more reasons to call it a wrap instead of a tourniquet. By far the most important, if you apply this proximal to wounds, and especially on very uh, small limbs, and you make it tight each time, it's additive, and so you can create some very high pressures on those limbs and cause damage. By putting it directly over wounds, my hope is that people will apply just enough so that there's hemostasis and then just wrap the rest. By calling it a wrap, people are empowered to back it off a little bit. So what's happening in my arm right now is I have clotting and vasospasm and increasing pain. And to take the edge off of some of that pain, I can just back it off just a touch. It's a little harder to do that with most tourniquets. Uh, wraps are stackable too. So if I do have uh, ongoing bleeding, I can put a one, another one directly on top and it's hard to do that with tourniquets. Uh, Tourniquets definitely need more training than wraps. This is a little bit more of an intuitive item. Uh, another couple reasons. So I think of this as a multi-tool. I've got a four-year-old and a six-year-old and they're crazy. Uh, they get bumps on their heads and sprains and strains and all kinds of scratches. And I, I use this on all of the above. And it always seems to work, whether it's the product or the placebo effect. Regardless, it seems to be helpful. So I think of this as a multi-use item. Uh, tourniquets are specific use items. So you wouldn't call a Swiss Army knife a seatbelt cutter. So this is general use. Tourniquets are specific use aimed at arterial bleeding. And, and lastly, I just want to under-promise and over-deliver with this. So anyway, if you use it, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know. If you use it in unusual ways, like walking your dog or as a surf leash or to hold your lumber to your uh, roof racks, uh, please send me photos. And, um, and that's all. I hope it serves you well. Thanks.